In 2001, the band 311 would release their sixth studio album from Chaos. The band had underwent a label change the previous year, leaving longtime label Capricorn Records and signing with Volcano Entertainment. The first single from their sixth studio record, You Wouldn't Believe, would prove to be the band's biggest hit off the record, but it was also notable because of the music video which featured NBA basketball player Shaquille O'Neal. But the video shoot nearly resulted in Shaq threatening to sue the band, and it's not for the reason you think. That's what we're going to explore in today's video. Three Eleven would form in 1988, and they would have their commercial breakthrough in 1995, thanks to their third record, which was self-titled, or sometimes referred to as the Blue Album. The album would be helped by the single Down, which got considerable airplay on both MTV and rock radio, topping the rock charts. Their third record would end up going platinum, and their follow-up album, 1997's Transistor, would also go platinum, giving the band their highest charting position of their career. By the new millennium, the band was still having success, and they would leave Capricorn Records, a label who they had a difficult relationship with dating back to the mid-90s. They soon found a new home in Volcano Entertainment, and their first release for the label would be their sixth studio record from Chaos. The first single from the album You Wouldn't Believe would peak at number seven on the alternative charts and became one of the band's most successful singles. The song was also notable because of its video that featured NBA basketball star Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq at the time was playing with the Los Angeles Lakers, who had just won the NBA Finals the previous year, and it was during the filming of the music video the Lakers were in the midst of a playoff run. 311 frontman Nick Hexum, who recently appeared on the Tune on Toast with Stryker podcast, would reveal, first of all, it was during the NBA playoffs, so he was not allowed to play pickup basketball with a band. He was like, nobody can know about this until after the playoffs, because he was going to get in so much trouble. If you guys watch the video, you can see Shaq playing basketball with the band. Hexum would add, Phil Jackson, the Lakers coach, would have gotten really mad. The Lakers would go on to defeat the Philadelphia 76ers that year in just five games, and won the NBA Finals for two years in a row. But Shaq playing basketball wasn't what resulted in him threatening to sue the band. Shaq would show up to the video shoot with wrong sneakers, bringing two left shoes. With Shaq's foot size being size 22, no one could lend him a shoe with Hexam adding, and of course nobody else had a shoe that they could lend him because they're size 23 or something. So he said, you may not feel my feet, and if you do, I will sue you. The band would click with Shaq and continue to be friends with him to this day. Shaq would even give one of his shoes to Nexum, who brought it on the podcast to show it off. Hexum would add, what we used to like to do is this is so big, I can put my foot with the shoe still on inside his shoe, and I think somebody did that and it just like tore up. It was the same year that Shaq joined 311 in the studio recording a track called Psycho, and Shaq would use the track to vent about the pitfalls of stardom telling MTV at the time. Psycho was just another side of me, the side that I'm really not allowed to show. It's just how I get sometimes. I get stressed out and I get pent up. Adding about the track, I love all types of music. I love rock music. I love people going out there and slam dancing. And Psycho was definitely a headbanger. He will go on to say, and if anybody can knock me down in a slam dance competition, I'll give him $10,000 out of my pocket. Also joining Shaq on the track would be the members of 311, of course, and Corn bassist Fieldy. Shaq would even appear on stage during promotion for the album at the K-Rock Weenie Roast with Hexam adding. He showed up in his helicopter and joined us on stage to do the song. That was such a cool thing. I mean, this was the year the Lakers won. It was Kobe and Shaq and they had just won the championship and then we did the Weenie Roast. So the place just went crazy and Shaq jumped into the crowd and busted his mouth on somebody's head. Shaq would end up winning a total of three championships with the Lakers from 2000 to 2002 and he would end up leaving the team in the mid-2000s and is currently retired from the game of basketball. He currently works as an analyst for TNT. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe. We'll see you again in Rock and Roll Stories. Take care.